and then we're going to set up a G120 from scratch. So, we can go ahead and update our accessible devices. We're going to go to online, we're going to go to functions. We need to sign in an IP address first. So, 182.168.0.3. And then 255 is good enough. Now we'll assign it. All right. Now it updated over here in the tree. Now we're going to, we'll give it a name. We're going to call this uh, drive one. We'll assign the name. Now we have drive one for the name. Now, we update it again. Now let's go to commissioning. We're gonna commission this all the way through. So open the commissioning wizard, standard drive control. We'll do, uh, we're gonna do data exchange with, um, the drive from a PLC. We're going to be on Telegram 1, field bus changeover. Two hundred and thirty volt. Induction motor, a seven delta. Rated current one point two eight thirteen fifty now puts two thirty fifty no sensor no holding brake reference speed is max RPM of the motor the max speed that we want the motor to run at, we can do twice, right? So 2700. Ramp time, one and a half. We do three second ramp time. And then one second quick off. For some reason, this dealing on my PC is off a little bit, but that's uh, the current limit, and it's set at 150. We're going to do motor optimization, so an auto tune. We'll do that at standstill. Everything is good. This little checkbox here is just saying that we're going to save RAM to ROM. Like I said, scaling must be off a little bit. I can't tell exactly what it says, but it probably just what it's supposed to be. Okay. Now that that's done. Go to motor optimization. Let me go ahead and minimize the screen so we can see what we're doing. We hit activate and accept control. Go ahead and switch it on over on this right hand side. Squeaking, making noises, it's running through light identification cycle. As soon as it finishes, this will reset to nothing. It'll set all the standards in there. So no measurements needed. Completely done. Go ahead and active, decide to deactivate. We'll go to, now we'll go to back up and restore. We're going to save the EEPROM. Let's go to the control panel, see if we can run this motor now. Go we'll activate control. Give it an RPM of 250. Tell it to go forward. And it's going. Then it changes to 500. Sped up. Let's go to 1350. I said that the max 
or is 2700, right? Let's see if it went there. Uh, 2700 bats. Like 1350. Back to now back to 500. I'll go ahead and stop, turn it off, and then uh, we'll deactivate. Now we no longer have master control. Everything is good. We tested it and it ran. I'm going to create a new project now. I'm going to call this G120 S7-1212C. All right. Now that we got that done, let's add a new device to the pro new project. Throw S7-1200 in there. The one that we have here is the 1BE40 on version 4.6. All right, don't need a password set up on this one, no protecting. Uh, we'll go ahead and allow legacy connection. We are not going to, we're gonna allow full access to this one. And then we're gonna hit finish. Now we're gonna go here, we're gonna give it an IP address. Go to, whoops, back up, let's go to properties. The IP address, we're gonna give it 192.168.0.10. 0.0, so 255.0.0.0.0. And then I always like to go to the system clock and memory. I like to enable the system memory byte and the clock memory byte. You can change whatever you want these addresses to start at just by changing either from zero to whatever number you'd like. All right, so now that that is all done, now, we need to add the drive here. So since we already set it up and it's this drive, well, we're going to go ahead and just upload this as a new station. Since we know it's already configured, we already have it set up for Telegram 1. We'll click on the drive. We'll make sure that the address is still 192.168.0.3. We'll make sure it's still Telegram 1. Good to go. Let's draw in a network. Let's tie it to the PLC. That is complete. Now let's go up and open our organizational block. Close this up. Let's open our instruction tree again on the link. Let's go down to optional packages. Bring this up. We'll go to Synamics. We're going to use the Cena speed. We'll drop it in. We're going to call this drive one VFD. Say OK. Is that another block? Let's make this one drive one. Say OK. So we're going to need a start command. Yep, we'll be in Boolean. And then fault acknowledge. That also will be a boolean. We're going to want a speed reference. This is going to be a real. And then we're going to want a speed uh, command. I believe doo -doo, that's all we're going to need. So our reference is going to be the reference speed of, of um, Robert, right? Okay, I don't think we need anything else. I think we're good to go. So, highlight the data block and then we're, we'll compile it. That way that's completed. Now we'll close it. Enable X. So let's give ourselves a little breathing room here. So, and we're gonna need to enable access is where we're gonna tell it to drive. So, drive one dot start command and then walk a reset right so oops. all acknowledge so this is going to be 
speed command. So, and then the reference speed, of course, is going to be, let's copy this down. Whoops. Oops. There. Sometimes a little tricky. There we go. Now we'll select reference speed here. Now these two here is going to be that drive. You're going to make sure that whoops, when you highlight the one you want, it says Telegram 1, right? So drive 1, Profinet interface standard Telegram 1. And then same thing for uh, the control word. So the first one is status word. Second one is the control word. So I'll drag this out a little bit. I can't open this up anymore, can I, you guys? So as you can see, right here it says standard telegram one. So literally, that is all we need, except for we need to put the font acknowledge here. All right, there we go. Looks good to me. Let's go ahead and download this to the PLC. Slot one. Let's go out and search. It's automatically searching for it. Let's see if it finds it. Found PLC one. It's already out there. Oh, uh, same thing. If this would have been new, this would have been a MAC address, right? So uh, you would have just downloaded it, and it would automatically set it up for you. Yeah, we're gonna connect anyway. We know that that is the PLC. All right, now we're going to stop all, and then we're going to load. Typically, when it stop all, it already be in stop mode. And then we'll start the module again. Now let's go online, see if we have any errors. I don't see any errors. So that means we're connected to the drive. Uh, the drive has some faults, so we need to acknowledge those. Yeah. Control F2. Clear default. Lockout is now false, so we're good to go. So there is no fault active. Now we'll give it a command speed of, uh, let's say, 250. Now we'll tell it to run. So it's going at 250 RPM. And that is how you add a G120 to so 1200 controller and control it by speed using the Cena speed control block.